Hi there, welcome back to our channel. My name is Julie. We live in a really small house. We have 10 kids. If you haven't seen our story, I can link it below. And so one thing about living in a small house is it gets dirty really fast, but it also cleans pretty quickly. And so today, I'm gonna to bring you along with me. I am going to clean this place up. It is extremely messy in here today, and I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, it's so messy. Let me tell you why. We got up this morning. Okay, buddy. We got up this morning and we left early for some classes that the kids and I are in. Um, and then when we got back, we quickly finished packing up because my husband and my three older boys are going on a camping trip this weekend. And so in getting ready for all of these things and getting out the door and getting back again, it's just like an explosion in here. It is a mess. But I'm hoping by turning the camera on that I'm going to be motivated to push through and get this house into shape. We just threw the breakfast dishes in the sink this morning because we had to head out quickly. So we have all of this mess and then we just have toys and dirty floor and clothes that they tossed and we have a mess on the table. Jeremiah picked a messy project to do, although you're being pretty nice and neat about it, aren't you? He's doing some of that sand. Yeah, we have I coats. We have baby box. toys. I mean, you guys, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is a total disaster. So my plan is to just quickly first tidy up. This is um, These are boxes that I'm packing up. This is our Valentine's Day decorations we're putting away. And the bag and the box are things that I'm packing up to donate. All of those things there. And then those two baskets up there are the laundry that needs to be folded and put away. So, my plan is to just quickly um, put away what I can, tidy up what I can. And usually I have all my kids helping me do this. However, like I said, um, three of my older kids are gone. Um, Isabella, my oldest, is working on an outside project. And Elsie went out to help her. So I just have my little ones in here. So I'm just going to... Do it myself today. We're gonna see how fast I can do it, and then we will. Do... Good job. Then we will quickly do a sweep, do the dishes, change over laundry, see if we can fold laundry and put that away. We're just gonna see how much we get done today. All right, are you ready to get started? I am. I am just going to pick up things and put them away. Everything in this house ideally has a place where it belongs. This is really important because living in a small house means that we don't have closets or attic space to stick things until we get to it later, to hide them out of sight. Everything in this house is able to be seen. There are no hiding places, which means that everything needs to have a place the blessing of that is that we can put things away quickly. We don't have to stop and wonder where we should put something because we already know where it goes. It just needs to get there. Now, so far today, these little ones have been very happily playing. This makes a big difference when you're doing a big cleanup. And if somebody would decide to get fussy, well, we would just have to stop and take care of them and, and then continue later because you all know, mamas, that when you have little ones who need you and who are fussy because of it, that if you don't attend to their needs, they are just going to get more upset and you are going to get more frustrated. So it's better to just stop what you're doing, connect with that child, help them out, and when they are content and happy, you can continue on with what you're doing. So you can see I am going back and forth between putting a little away and sweeping a little bit, putting a little away. When I'm cleaning a large space, several rooms at once, I tend to be a little bit of a distracted cleaner that I will hop around from spot to spot, but eventually, over the next hour, I will come all the way full circle and everything will be cleaned up. That's the goal anyway. We'll see if I can accomplish that. I am so close to having this whole table cleaned off and that is one of my favorite things. I just like a clean table. It makes the whole space seem so much more inviting. 
we are going to go ahead and put away the rest of that little sand because if I'm going to sweep the floors back there, I want that sand put away first. In my spray bottles, I just have some vinegar that I actually soaked orange peels in that vinegar for a few weeks and then I put about a quarter cup of that vinegar in the spray bottle with I think I added about 25 drops of peppermint to this one I change things up each time I make a fresh batch then I filled it up the rest of the way with water so it just makes a nice refreshing cleaner that is safe for the kids also paper airplanes have been the rage in this house and I am trying to be patient because I know spring is just around the corner and they're going to be outside playing instead of making hundreds of paper airplanes, but for now they've really been enjoying it. I am setting all the rugs outside so that I can give them a good shake out in the fresh air and now I'm going to finish sweeping up this last little bit of the kitchen so that I can move on next to the pile of dishes that are waiting for me. All right, ponytails on, things are getting serious. We're gonna put those rugs back in place and here we go. If you have watched my channel for long, you know that this dishwasher is on again, off again. It will, something on it will break and then my husband will fix it and we'll have a dishwasher again and then something else will go wrong and for a few weeks it will just be my drying rack until my husband can fix the, whatever the latest problem is but currently the dishwasher is on it is working and I am loading that thing up so that we can run a load of dishes here real quick I'm going to finish washing a few items that have to be hand washed and then scrub out my sink because you know a shining sink is just a gift to a mom who's cleaning I know there's this lady online called the fly lady I think many many years ago I read one of her her cleaning um, posts that she had on her website and she said the power of a clean sink will motivate you to be able to clean the rest of your house and keep it clean she said that that is the, the key right there is a clean sink so that's what we are striving for right now If you are very observant, you might be wondering what that container is with the towel over it up on the lower left shelf there. That is my sourdough starter, so I have since moved it to a different jar, but this was when the first few days of constant attention were happening, and so I just put it right there so I could keep an eye on it and also remind myself to feed it. All right, we are taking a break from the kitchen and moving to the second half of the house. Like I said, this is a small house, guys. This is it. <laughs> this is the rest of the house. The hallway gets very dirty because the back door is where I like the kids to come in when they're wearing their mud boots so that they can kick them off and store them in that big Tupperware right there. But it means that there's a lot of extra dirt that accumulates on these floors. Okay, let's tackle this laundry room mess. First, I'm going to package up and move out to my van the things that we are donating so that they are ready to go the next time we're on the road. I'm going to get behind that hamper today. That is a very cool hamper that my husband built for me after I was complaining that hampers were just not strong enough for a family of this size who lives out in the country and goes through a lot of clothes because we get really dirty. I had hamper after hamper break and fall apart and so he took it upon himself to build me one that will last. Underneath our hanging clothes is a space where my husband's work shoes are stored and also some of those big things like his coveralls and boots. Lydia has been playing so happily this entire time, but she's kind of done. We are close to nap time and she's ready for mama to hold her and put her to bed. I'm going to move all the empty hangers to one side so that I am ready to go. 
And then we'll see how much folding I get done before she decides she is really finished. <laughs> it looks like it might not be too long. All right, I put Lydia down for a nap upstairs and came to check on James. He is still playing so happily. This is incredible, guys. We have turned a corner. He was just completely in a destructive toddler phase up until about a week ago when he suddenly has started playing for long periods of time with the Duplo blocks or the little Hot Wheel cars. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. All right, we're going to quickly fold some clothes and put it away like I've said in the past. One of my favorite things about having a family closet and a laundry room all in one is that a majority of the clothes can be put immediately away in those bins that are to my left. That is where our kids have their shirts and their pants and their pajamas. And so anyone who is in with, within arm's reach, I can just stick in the correct place and not have to touch that item twice. So my goal this morning was just a tidy up of the living room and the kitchen, the dishes and the laundry. And this is the end of that. We have accomplished our purpose. I am satisfied. So I'm just going to finish tidying up these last few things, put the towels away in the bathroom and call it a morning. Thanks so much for helping me tidy up my house, for keeping me company. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.